Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Um, we're going to do a quick little love reading here for you to see what the energies are playing out for the rest of May here. This is a channel strictly for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, please do hit the like, share, subscribe button. Um, if you want to become a member of my channel, do click the join button and you can see the perks that you will receive becoming a member. Also go over to my community tab where you can enter to win a free 30 minute video tarot reading from me. Okay. Um, as soon as we hit the 20 K, we're almost there. So, all right, you guys, please be mindful. These are general messages. Hello, everyone in the chat. I hope everybody's doing well. Just take what fits, leave the rest. All right, let's take a look here and see what the love messages are for Virgo, Virgo, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Okay, you've got the butterfly. Beautiful relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth here is showing up what else do you have twin flames wow okay there's definitely like a twin flame connection here um yin yang zen balance union duality coupling complementing each other okay so twin flames coming together possibly growth healing energy some twin flame relationship that's evolving let's see What else? This is amazing. Wow, you got the love card again, just like yesterday. So, wow, Virgo, what is up with this here? Okay, so there's transformation here in a relationship that's going to really begin blossoming before the end of May. Okay, love, unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Beautiful energy. Okay, let's see what you are romance angels messages are here wow you also have soulmate okay so maybe somebody you consider a, a soulmate is actually a twin flame um or there's a kinship two people maybe started off as soulmates and turning into a twin flame connection or you think this is a twin flame your person thinks either way um somebody here thinks there's a portion or part of the relationship that can be challenging yet meant to be two people who are meant to be together yes this is your soulmate all right let's see okay you've got honeymoon enjoying the bliss of holiday time together so i'm picking up some energy for the the last weekend of uh may some holiday um something some holiday something happening here Okay, and wow, finances and career. Interesting. I feel like you got that the other day too, or yesterday. What else do you have? True love. Okay, beautiful. So there's definitely a true love connection happening here. There, this is, it's just screaming. Okay, it's just screaming. Let's take a look and see who this person is. Um, maybe you already know them, um, or maybe you haven't met them yet and you will be. Let's take a look and see what's upcoming here. The last half of May. What messages does Virgo need to know? What is coming up for Virgo the last half of May with a soulmate, twin flame, a love situation, beginning to blossom, change, going to the next phase of a relationship with somebody? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Okay. Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, somebody's definitely coming towards you in May with a love offer right maybe you know them maybe you don't okay um it doesn't matter it's coming towards you it could be a pisces the eight of cups energy is like um you you're some of you have withdrawn from a relationship and and um opening yourself up to new love or new up or attracting new love opportunities into your life um somebody's coming in here um the knight of cups energy is you know someone who's just very loving and um has they offer their cup of love that this person it, and I'm also picking up this could be someone that you um, would be at a distance to so I feel like this person is coming from far away okay mm. interesting somebody here might um, have felt like someone moved on there might have been like a past relationship that that there was a withdrawal or it's abandoned and 
I don't know. It just feels like you're alone. I feel like you are uh, currently alone. You're seeking or you're not really seeking, but you're looking to see if there's any other love out there for you. And, and here comes that Knight of Cups. Because the Eight of Cups energy always makes me feel like, you know, you've had your loves. You've had your connections with people here. Look at those eight cups. You've, you've built up relationships in the past. You know, you, you've got some love under your belt here. And, and now you're looking up at the moon and um, waiting for that ninth cup to come in. Seeking that ninth cup. Chasing after that ninth cup. And somebody here brings it. And that nine of, nine of cups energy is wishes, fulfillment. Okay. Emotional fulfillment coming in here. So let's see if we can find out who this person might be. Okay, seven of wands. All right, well, hmm. Page of swords in the reverse again. So I do feel like this is someone who is or will be watching you. Okay. Don't don't you just love that? The little stalker sneaky energy? No, this is someone who um it feels like they don't want you to know that they have their eye on you. That's what I'm hearing. They're not they're going to kind of like push back on that. You might be getting a sense right now or you might start feeling a sense that somebody is kind of watching you i don't know somebody you just have like your radars up um if you're feeling that way it you're right about that but this person is trying to block it so that you can't see that they have their eye on you or that they're watching you somehow I'm just feeling like with the Seven of Wands, there's some kind of defensive strategy or blocking kind of energy with someone here, okay? Um, there's like the protecting themselves to not be found out that they're going to be seeking you or, or watching to see what you're doing. Like, this is super, super curiousness. Okay, yeah, this is someone who's like, but it feels like they're hiding. All right. Oh, okay. Five of Pentacles in the past. I'm sorry, in the reverse. Why did I say the past? Um, so, okay, so they're, they're giving me this energy of like hope returning and trying to recover some kind of a relationship. So, did you know this person in the past? Or do you currently know who they are? <coughs> could be. Okay. They, or they could just have like hope is returning for them in the sense where um, they really want to come towards you um, and make some kind of love offer to you. Um, I feel like this person, you might know them through work or they sit at a desk near you or they're in a school. There's a connection to a school um, or some type of craftsmanship or building or um they might study uh, or they write they might be a writer maybe they you know they write books or periodicals i'm hearing or they study and they write um they write about also they're just telling me this is this feels like a student of um scholarly endeavors where they write um about gosh i'm just feeling like having hope. I don't know what exactly that means, having hope. Um, this person might, you know, post things online or you will notice that they, they're very active, but the things that they post um, online are um, very like um, hope, they instill hope, right? So you know how, like affirmations, like they write affirmations I'm hearing this person they're active that way where they write affirmations all the time okay or they write about um scholastic things or, or legal things it's what i'm hearing or how to um rebuild your finances so they could be someone who and they, you might catch them writing about the stock market i'm hearing um or teaching or helping others learn i'm hearing about the stock market okay that's a strange message okay but we're trying to see who this person is who is this person for virgo oh okay king of wands is here wow there's a nine of cups that's definitely who this person is aries leo sagittarius energy okay the king of wands very bold 
very active type of a person, very tremendously charming and courageous, um, <laughs> very much alone and doesn't have um, a physical release. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of one of our uh, one of our chatters mentioned this. If you look at this card, you know, uh, William, I think it was Vlad. I can't unsee it. I say this all the time, but every time I look at this, I I feel like, what is he doing with his palm? <laughs> okay, um, so you know, male or female energy, you know how it goes. So I kind of feel like this person um, is all alone. They don't have anybody they have no physical release with anyone um so this is very important to this person they're very active if you know what i mean you know um it's not necessarily like okay that's their only intention i don't feel that way but i feel like this person um they're very hopeful with the nine of cups okay they're very hopeful this person has um I feel like they're telling me they this person uh, uh, so they're very healthy they're in really good health I mean, I'm hearing um, fitness health good eating um, very physically active this person um, they have their material gains you know um, what they do with their wealth health abundance they have all of that this this person does you know they're they're pretty self-assured and and i feel like they're pretty free-spirited and very creative type of a person as well okay um i mean i it, it's an it's a it's a fire sign now is that someone from your past it could be it could also be somebody new coming in making a romantic love gesture towards you okay wow Okay, the hermit. Hmm, interesting. So the, 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 what they're, so what I see is this person um, quite reflective, but I feel like they have some ideas or some kind of proposal, not to mention romantic, but also there'd be some kind of conversation with this person about money and finances, which is why finances and career is here. So you'll know them by that is how I feel. Um, there'll be some talk about um, the stocks, cryptocurrencies, um, money investments, that kind of thing. There'll be, there'll be a lot of conversation. And I also feel like this person is um, what is when they are they're telling me when this person goes off on their own, right? This is what they think about. They think about how to make money, <laughs> ideas for wealth, you know, very business oriented, I feel, but um, very much like a leader in those areas. You know what I mean? Like um, owning a business, not just putting money away, but like someone who thinks up um, business ideas or makes plans or, or, or how to raise money, okay? Um, it could be like fundraising this person's kind of involved in. Um, but but you know, but when it comes to like business and money, they're very patient, you know what I mean? Like um, uh, they, they may be think looking for a new job at this time. Okay, um, are thinking about ways to increase their employment. And I feel like they're just giving you qualifiers of who this person is. So, you know, but they're not overly active, you know, like they're not like the King of Pentacles, very reserved and very focused on money and just kind of a stick in the mud, no offense, but you know, um, would rather make sure their money's right first before they go out. The King of Wands is more like, no, let's go have fun. Let's go do some daring adventures. Let's, you know, let's go climb trees. We'll worry about the money later. Like they, this person's very optimistic, you know, but they're sensible, very sensible. Okay. But the, you know, the, 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 the number one thing with them is activity and fun and pleasure and um, enjoying life, red hot passion, type of energy and then their secondary is you know um working creating businesses building things like that okay so finances and career it feels like it comes second love comes first for this person this person um loves to be in love 
will love to love okay so do you know them maybe um, if you do if this is someone that you were dealing with in the past there's definitely some shift there's some energy change that's happening here um, you know with the twin flame stuff going on and the love I feel like you know if you know this person I do feel like this person is very much in love with you um, and if there are some changes being made there's definitely a new phase to this connection there's definitely growth inner child healing has is happening so that just basically means there's maturity that's coming here with this person and a relationship evolving okay the twin flame energy i feel like is to let you know that there you know if you've been involved with this person before there was some struggle um this coupling there was struggle to couple with each other um it may not have been differences it may it could have just been timing but we'll see how that goes um, and if you don't know this person, it's this is the energy coming in for you. It's 100%. You know, um, now let me say, when I say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be their sun sign or uh, they could be very heavy fire elements in their chart. Okay. Um, so when you look at your full natal chart, you know, they could be like the score would be like five out of six, all fire element it's that energy it's not oh this person's like a leo moon um no it's heavy fire element in the chart or it's the sun sun sign that's what i'm picking up that's not a um that's not a formula that we all have to live by this is just the energy that i'm picking up here with this person what else do we have okay two of pentacles and the four of swords very well balanced this person is coming in here and they're showing up, having made a decision, um, steady, stable, two of pentacles energy is, you know, juggling and keeping the balls in the air and being very steady and balanced. And that four of swords is very um, peaceful and patient. And this feels like a personality that I'm picking up from this person. Um, if this, like I said, if somebody you knew in the past and this doesn't sound like them, remember, we have the butterfly. So there is 100% um, evolvement and maturity and growth happening here. Okay. Um, and yeah, and as far as somebody new coming in, wow, this is amazing. I feel like, because I do feel like some of you have left a past relationship or um, felt you were abandoned or something ended and you've just let it go, okay? And you are, as I said, opening yourself up to new opportunities for dating and, and love relationships going forward. And somebody, you know, and I say, as soon as you open up and let that, let the past go, somebody, you know, somebody falls in. I always feel that energy plays out here. I always feel that happens. It's when you're holding on, you know, um, when you're still holding on. If, if So people say, well, I'm not holding on. I, I haven't seen my person. I still can't meet anybody. No, you're still holding on. Believe me, you are. Um, because whenever you fully let go, because you might be purposefully, you might not be holding on that person, but you're holding on to not opening up, okay, and not fully releasing. People always show up because you attract you you attract so what if you're not attracting someone or um, a person place or thing you have to ask yourself okay why why is no one in my periphery and for some of you it's just your single season that's all and your single season will end when it ends all right let me see okay yeah three of swords Ooh, the empress okay somebody got heartbroken by um either well it feels like a taurus um so your person could have been connected with a taurus maybe this there was a pregnancy or loss of a pregnancy or an abortion or a miscarriage or there was some kind of maybe loss of a mother that kind of energy with this person um or there might have been a cheating situation if they had um you know a, a spouse that kind of energy here um, this person's definitely, I feel like healing because it's coming after the Four of Swords is healed from some kind of heartbreak and is more balanced and stable. Um, I don't know why you need to know that, but I feel like it's a qualifier when you talk to this person. Um, this is something that they'll tell you. Okay, let me see. Let, let's take a look at you, Virgo. Let's see what your energy is here. I'm actually, I think I'll pull. Hold on, I'm going to use some different cards. 
I'm going to see what your energy is here for you. What's going on with Virgo? What's Virgo been working on? What's going on with Virgo? How is Virgo going to feel about this person? This is what we, we want to know. Look at you. You're stable too. Well, wow. um, and you're definitely going to see that this person's coming in with the two of pentacles, just like you have, right? So you're stabilized. I love this. You're balancing things very well in your life at this time. You're ready. Yep, you've let go. Death card. Uh, maybe let go of a Scorpio. Um, but you've let go. Definitely. Something has ended and you've re-situated um, yourself. You're back on good footing. you got your sea legs again. You're, you're holding your own. And I see that. Um, and if you haven't done it yet, I see that coming up for you. And it might even meeting this person or having somebody here show up if it's new um might inspire you you know to get more grounded and more stable but for some of you whatever the situation letting go that's what i was talking about uh, having an ending so you could have a new beginning whether that's a past relationship you have to be in a better like you have to have your footing you have to have your grounding um and your secure stable base within yourself okay um for any relationship at all because <laughs> relationships are complex they can be quite challenging can't they um very 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 I, I don't know that there's any perfect relationships out there so i see you in a really good place you've let go of something look at this you've got the sun leo energy here you are queen of pentacles you, I see you being very joyous and happy at the end of this month. Definitely. There's major shifts and changes happening here for you. Maybe you're on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Okay. Um, major shifts happening. Being very steady and abundant and grounded here in your life. Definitely. At the end of this month. The weather warming for, you know, if you're up in the northern hemisphere, of course, or, or it's starting. The weather, um, so they're saying the weather's being just right. It's not too hot. And it's not too cold. So wherever you are, you're feeling, you know, the rabbits, the animals are all around, the birds. It might be like some growth in spring. And for some of you, it's, you know, um, there's a new season coming in. You're going into the fall or into the winter, you know. So there's joyous, playfulness, successful outcome. Um ending your summer and and being you know super excited um coming to the end of the summer and some of you are just getting started and you know getting some i just feel like i just feel success and joy here for you i just feel success and joy you're you're looking good financially for sure at the end of this month for sure uh I'm just seeing some of you are stocking up your, you're stocking up your cabinets. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe you just went grocery shopping or um, you went to the food market or something, putting some groceries away while you're listening to this, like stocking your cabinets, like bulk. You got, some of you are like doing the bulk thing, or maybe you're going to be doing that, like you do, or you do that, you know, I'm just, and, and that just is abundance to me. It's just filling things up with abundance. Oh my gosh. You are the lovers. Gemini energy. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Virgo, this is just the most amazing reading here. You know, there's a love situation happening here. 100%. Okay. Um, and like I said, it's it, I'm seeing a king or a queen of wands. I'm seeing a fire sign. I don't know what your situation is. If, if that's your past person, it could be um, coming back around the way I described them. Um, if not... Um, this is somebody new and this is lovely and this is so beautiful let me get a couple extra cards here to see what else you need to know this reading is going to be a little bit shorter than usual because I have my grandson tonight and he's going to be going to bed soon and he's going to be at the top of his lungs <laughs> protesting so I don't want to get that on video um, let me see here what other messages are there for Virgo hey Griffin honor and good luck somebody might have a child named griffin got the wolf beware who you trust Ooh, that's interesting okay beware who you trust well i don't know who that's for i don't feel like it's attached to this reading um 
but I do feel that should just be that should just be a, a life thing right even if it's not attached to this reading that should just be a life thing always be aware of your surroundings and the people around you like a wolf like trust your instincts is what i'm hearing use your instincts you know not not uh, some of you aren't really in tune with your intuition so use your instincts instead okay your animal instincts and that's really like what your body's telling you if you're not sure what your intuition is telling you go with your go with the vibes that you're getting the physical vibes vibrations okay i've got the dagger conflict and danger lie in wait all right this they're leading they're leading us somewhere somewhere here with this um what are, what are you trying to tell us the sphinx choose your words carefully so there's some kind of an argument that's going to be showing up here oh my gosh they're taking us down a completely different road i don't know if it's with this person for some of you it could be it could be um some of you this person if this is like a past person coming back you know it looks so beautiful but you know some of you might de decline it and say no holding out for the new passing uh, some of you just might make a decision because the lovers is a decision card you might just make a decision that you don't want to heal a past relationship even if it can be healed some of you might just have already decided it's just done it's just done and deciding to open yourself up to other love other love or other attracting new opportunities and i feel like be careful you know don't just jump from the pan into the front the frying pan into the fire take your time i do feel like there's going to be some some you saying something to someone be metic be meticulous with your your words if you're going to end something with someone look it's the seer follow your intuition so for those of you who are in touch with that follow it if you're going to end something with someone virgo um be, use your choice words okay choose your words very carefully with someone here um if not there could be conflict and you don't want that to, you know nobody wants conflict right um nobody wants danger either so just be very meticulous and patient with your words and the things that you say if you're saying something to somebody or if you're ending something i feel like that's a separate message for some of you um because some they're saying some of you might have somebody showing up who um is new and then you could have um a past person you know it is mercury retrograde um so that energy could be playing out let's see what signs we have here okay capricorn we have cancer and leo okay scorpio sagittarius cancer again one more uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Sagittarius. Okay, when we have doubles, that's indicative of some very important message. Let's look at time or um, ages and dates. Okay, September 10th. Wow, 10, 10, 10. Holy shiz. Oh my goodness. 10, 10, 10. June 2nd. Okay. Um, hmm. November 8th. November 13th okay um 10 10 10 that is crazy three I don't know if you're I don't know what that means I'm not a numerologist you guys did you know <laughs> but um one zero one zero one zero isn't that binary those numbers or zero one zero one zero one uh binary numbers I don't know maybe that means something um okay let's see All right, um, February 5th, October 11th, 11-11 is here. We have 10-10-10 and 11, 11 Okay, um, so May 11th, we have the 19th. Somebody's, I'm, I'm giving, they're picking up the age 40. Okay, um, All right, 2020, something significant. Okay, um, 357, I'm hearing. That's an important number. Um, 1968, uh, 
2010, significant time period. Somebody was born September or August 28th, um, September 17th. Somebody's 35. Okay. Um, my grandson's he's going to bed now so i've hit the 30 minute sorry that it was so short but you know got to do what you got to do so i'm going to leave that there for you you guys i hope that you enjoyed that message um do go over and enter the contest to win a free 30 minute video reading with me okay it's not a video call it's a video recorded uh reading that i'll send to you um but all you have to do is go over to my community section um i have something posted there just um post there your favorite tarot card and you can post your email um i know some of you don't want to do that but um if you do it it'd make it a lot easier for me to connect with you so you can make you know um a burner email if you need to um and then i will randomly choose somebody once i hit the twenty thousand subscriber mark okay you guys so i will see you all tomorrow have a lovely evening have a lovely day um yeah take care okay bye